Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great today. But if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well so you don't miss out all the videos I upload. There is nothing special uh, today because I'm just going to share with you what I purchased last month, January. I didn't have the time to open the package yet because I mentioned the reason why uh, during my last video so here it is it's still in this uh, LVC plastic so I'm just going to open it off cam I purchased this from Zalora and this is the box so actually these products came from different brands and it looks like so I'm going to start with this tiny box here which is called the exquisite eye liquid shadow from wonder beauty I've been looking for a liquid eyeshadow for a long time now something that is smooth to put on creamy but not sticky and of course will not crease even for a long period of hours since I've seen good reviews about this liquid eyeshadow I decided to try it if it's worth the buy so this is how it looks like so this one is in the shade rose garden which i love it's not really light but not too dark and it looks like pinkish or rose gold it looks i don't know if you can see this let me just reswatch it ah there you go so it looks like this it's not really light but not too dark it has a like pinkish or rose gold tint to it the good thing about this is it is infused with green tea aloe and blend of uh, vitamins c and e it suits and conditions your lids as well and the thing is i can wear this as an eyeliner since it is portable, it is perfect for on-run days and for travel as well. The price is 1,450 PHP. Next is this eyeshadow palette called Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I love the packaging. It looks like a chocolate, chocolate bar. Anyway, let's just open it up. Do you love my nail polish, guys? Since it's love month, I painted it with a red gel uh, polish. And then this one is my accent nail. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do a video on how i do my nails all right so this looks very luxurious it's uh, made of velvet the cover is made of uh, velvet very soft and let's open it it looks like so this has an everyday to night palette with 14 shades including essential mattes and glam shimmer very nice the 14 shades are said to be full pigmented and easy to blend with a supplied uh, double ended brush to deliver ultra matte and shimmer finish or finishes so this palette is luxuriously packaged, like I said a while ago, with a large mirror. Really excellent palette for everyday look. Perfect for formal events as well. The price is 3,100 PHP. So this one is the double-ended brush. 
So this eyelash conditioner is from Revitalash Cosmetics. I really wanted to try this because my lashes have gone thinner over the years due to prolonged uh, usage of eyelash extensions. Now that I'm ready to stop using extensions, I will, uh, I will start using this one so to hopefully regain my natural lashes original condition it has so many ingredients like look at the brush guys the applicator it's so tiny it has so many ingredients like biopeptide complex green tea extract rich in platinum peptides ginseng um soritia japonica i hope i'm correct uh, pronouncing that so palmetto etc i know it's pricey and the price is um let me check 9560 next is another conditioner for eyebrows and it's also from revitalash cosmetics this is called revitalash eyebrow advanced conditioner this enhances the beauty of your brows it's original and precision developed eyebrow conditioner it addresses uh, the visible signs of eyebrow aging due to chemical and environmental stressors and over plucking and styling leading to healthier looking more luxurious brows and do check the ingredients guys of this product in their website so it looks like this in case you are interested to try it the price is 6950 php so it is also quite expensive and this is the applicator so you just have to like apply it on your brows but make sure to clean them properly I wanted to try it because as you can see my brows are thin compared before where I used to have bushy brows I'm not sure if the thinning is due to regular uh, treading or shaving in the last few years I also thought of uh, microblading but I'm really scared about it I have an allergy and I'm not sure if it will look good on me so it's pretty scary and also i don't like overpowering uh, brows or looks so let's see so there you go guys i don't want to make this video very long for you <laughs> i'm going to try all these products and show you the result especially the revitalash uh, cosmetics uh, items and thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have questions or any suggestions you can also put them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.